The acids in wine are an important component in both winemaking and the finished product of wine. They are present in both grapes and wines, having direct influences on the color, balance, and taste of the wine, as well as the growth and vitality of yeast during fermentation and protecting the wine from bacteria. One of the measurements of acidity in wine is known as the titratable acidity, sometimes called total acidity, which refers to the amount of tartaric acid present in grams per liter, while strength of acidity is measured according to pH, with most wines having a pH between 2.9 and 3.9. Generally, the lower the pH, the higher the acidity in the wine. However, there is no direct connection between titratable acidity and pH. It is possible to find wines with a high pH for the wine and high acidity. The titratable acidity, or TA, of wine, or must, is determined by titration of a sample with a standardized solution of sodium hydroxide, NaOH. The following equipment will be needed to measure the TA of a wine or must sample. Equipment a 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask, a 5 ml volumetric pipette, a hot plate, a 10 or a 25 ml burette, and a pipette safety bulb or syringe. Supplies 0.10 sodium hydroxide, phenolphthalein with an eyedropper, distilled water, and a 5 ml wine or juice sample. Pipette 5 ml of wine or juice must into an Erlenmeyer flask. Add approximately 2 milliliters of DI water to cover the bottom of the flask with liquid, and then add 3 drops of 1% phenolphthalein. Please note, Juice or must samples may need to be strained or centrifuged before pipetting. Fermenting wine samples should also be degassed prior to obtaining the test sample. Using either a digital titrator fitted with a 0.1 normalized sodium hydroxide bottle or a prepared 25 ml burette with 0.1 normalized sodium hydroxide, titrate the Erlenmeyer flask sample to a pink endpoint. Measure the pH of the sample as you near the endpoint of the titration. Continue the titration until an 8.2 pH endpoint is achieved. The titratable acidity is calculated using the following formula. Ta as grams tartaric per 100 ml sample times the number of milliliters of sodium hydroxide used in the titration, times the concentration of that sodium hydroxide, or N, multiplied times 1.5. In this example, 6 mils of sodium hydroxide, a 0.1 normalized solution, times 1.5, equals 0.9 grams tartaric. Record your findings. Samples may be disposed of in the sink and then rinsed thoroughly with water. Labware should be washed with lab cleaner and then rinsed with DI water. To learn more about the Vineyard and Winery Technology Program offered at Yakima Valley Community College, visit us online at www.yvcc.edu wine. This material is based upon work supported by the National Science Foundation under grant number 1003721. Any opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this material are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation.